Mabel, you wanna go to the dog park? It's time to put my new hat on. So this is a Frenchie meetup here, but there are also like 20 corgis here. I asked someone if this is a corgi meetup and it's not. There just happen to be 20 corgis here on a Saturday at the dog park. Mabel had a great time and now I need to give her a bath. Mabel can hear the bath running, so she's already hiding. She hates the bath so much. You wanna take a bath? You wanna take a bath? Mabel, you ready to take a bath? Time for a bath. Here's our setup some shallow water in here. It is warm, not too hot, not too cold. I have a little towel here for washing Mabel's face. This is the one that works the best on her. With your Frenchie, you really have to choose what works best for them. And then we also use this Myconahex Plus Triz shampoo. Antimicrobial, antifungal, and moisturizing. So this one is from our vet, and it says to shampoo with the regular shampoo first, and then you put this shampoo on her, and you let it soak in five to 10 minutes. If she's having like a really bad breakout at the time, we'll let it soak in for like 10 minutes. On regular days, we just let it soak for a few minutes, and then we wash it off and I have a freebie cup I got from Sephora for washing her off. We don't have one of those hose things with our showers, so if you have one of those, it's a lot easier to rinse your dog off. And we also have cotton balls to put in Mabel's ears. We tear them in half and put them in her ears, and that will keep water from getting into her ears. So we're putting half a cotton ball in each ear right now. Occasionally, she'll shake them out during the bath, and we just have to put new ones in. I do this part with the towel just because I don't want to get a bunch of water in her nose or eyes. And I want to get these wrinkles really clean. Okay. Okay, ready? Let's get the tail pocket. Under the tail pocket. So we gotta lift this up and then get under the tail pocket. If you have a Frenchie, your Frenchie might not even have a tail pocket because some Frenchies 
are completely tailless. It's clean. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Come here. Let's get that. Okay. Let's rinse off this first shampoo. But right now I'm just using the water from the tub since we're doing a whole other shampooing. I'm just using this somewhat soapy water. At the end, we're gonna use completely clean water to make sure to get all the soap suds off. Here we go. Here we go. Second shampoo, which is the antimicrobial shampoo. It helps a lot with any rashes or allergy breakouts your Frenchie's having. Okay, now we gotta let this soak in for a few minutes. It's only been like 30 seconds or a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the soap off her face at least. This is just clean water on here. Okay, it's been five minutes, so now I'm going to use clean water to get this soap off of Mabel. Now I'm going to clean her ears. She's still damp. And to keep her still, I just hold her in my lap like this. And this ear rinse that we just got at Petco, I think. Put a few drops in this ear. And then a few drops in this ear. And she's already trying to shake her head. And then you massage her ears like this with your fingers. And you do this for maybe 30 seconds to a minute. After you've completely rubbed this in, you can let her shake it out. And then your Frenchie will look a little bit like Yoda. And I have a few cotton balls picked out in the bag already. Cotton balls to clean out inside her ears. And I do this once a week. Just happened to be after bath time this time. It's a good time to do it after bath time just because it helps evaporate any moisture that's in the air. Was that so terrible? It is a couple hours later now. Mabel is all dry and in her brand new donut onesie pajamas. I got these from Amazon. <laughs> I'm going to end the vlog here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos.